What I've got here is Frameworks Modular Laptop. It is truly something remarkable, unique, beautiful. I love it. And I hope for both our sakes that this is the future of how laptops are designed. But uh, let me explain. <laughs> All right, so the vision of the framework laptop is to have a modular upgradable laptop in a reasonable form factor. It's a nice, you know, metal case. Look what's happening all around us. Almost all of our electronics are disposable. Take phones. Battery replaceability is something that is on more and more people's minds when we talk about phones. But with uh, fewer and fewer phone manufacturers or even laptop manufacturers building in a way that you can easily replace the uh, batteries that manufacturers are making it harder and harder. They'd rather that you buy new gear. Apple famously issued the replacement battery memo that basically said, hey, brace yourselves for reduced phone sales because we're having to replace batteries that wore out faster than we expected. And so we're doing that to avoid a class action lawsuit. We're gonna offer in-store battery replacement, but really we'd rather people buy new phones. Apple and Samsung both have implemented software to slow down older phones with aging batteries to put less of a strain on them to try to avoid those problems, which is crazy. It's, it's anti-consumer. Phones and laptops that are glued together uh, are just basically not upgradable. The memory's built in, everything. Well, forget all that. Framework, a plucky little company that doesn't have anywhere near the economy of scale of Dell or HP or Apple, has pulled it off. This, in my hands, this is a modular upgradable laptop that's nice and it comes with tools and manuals and all sorts of fun things to make maintenance as easy as possible. Replacing the battery, anybody could do. It's the first and easiest thing that you can do with this laptop. You gotta pop out six screws, they're captive, you're not gonna lose them, and it's super, super easy to do one connector. But you can also upgrade the motherboard, they publish the specifications for that. You can get replacement components, you can even replace the ports. I mean, look at it, look. It looks like an ordinary laptop. If I didn't tell you that this laptop was super special, it would look, you know, bog standard. It's not undesirable. It's not, you know, the thick, form factor is just about 16 millimeters thick, 1.3 kilos. Now I want you to think back to when Apple was saying, oh, if we let people repair iPhones, they're gonna kill themselves. It's dangerous. They're really gonna hurt themselves. Do you have stairs in your house? Stairs are more dangerous than repairing your laptop. And you need only look at this one to say that, yeah, if the framework team can figure this out, I'm pretty sure Apple can. The documentation is excellent. The screws are even color coded so that you know which one goes where. This is even easier to upgrade than laptops from the era when laptops generally had replaceable storage, RAM, and even processors. And this is easier than it was then. So that's good. So I think repairability here is far and away beyond what you actually need, but it also kind of mocks companies like Dell and HP and Apple because they're like, oh, we can't do it. Yeah, you can't. It's clearer to me than ever that, that that's really basically an anti-competitive practice. And there's fewer and fewer companies producing laptops if you think about it. I mean, look how many units larger companies sell. But here it is. Here is a modular upgradable design. And I believe in what Framework is doing. The roughest thing for me was the modular ports. There's four of them. There's four slots, but I got seven, six or seven in the box for the configuration, this is the DIY. You know, you can get a micro SD slot, you can get storage expansion, USB type A, USB type C, HDMI, display port. It's very satisfying to be able to pick what ports you want in the limited amount of physical space that you have, but they're kind of bulky and I feel like they could have had all six possible ports in some sort of alternative design that was maybe two modular ports and the other ones are built in, I don't know. Uh, this, this is pretty pragmatic though for a first pass and I feel like that'll improve as things go on. But what about laptop performance? Like, okay, it's modular, but you're giving up something, right? Well, no, and you can get them based around the Core i5 or the Core i7. This particular one is the Core i5, 11th gen. Uh, it's pretty zippy. Um, I also found that the laptop thermally performed really well, probably a little better than expected, right in line with other i5 laptops of this class, which is really good. Battery life was about five and a half hours of light web browsing and Netflix just above the minimum brightness on the display, which, you know, is pretty good. We'll talk a little bit more about the display in a second. The trackpad is pretty good for a PC trackpad. I hope it's something they improve, but it's pretty good. The webcam above the screen, the webcam above the screen, it's 1080p, and it's better than most laptops. The keyboard is satisfying, if unremarkable. It had uh, much better travel than I expected, but it had a little bit more flex 
that I like. I mean, look, my meat stumps are huge and heavy and it gives a little bit. The display on this is gorgeous. It's a three by two aspect ratio, meaning that it's taller than a 16 by nine aspect ratio screen. The resolution is 2256 by uh, 1504 and it is a fabulous, fabulous display. The power button has a built-in fingerprint reader and I eventually got it to work with the Windows Hello stuff. It has a one year warranty from Framework. Uh, you can get a 60 watt USB-C charger with it or not if you opt for the DIY version. And of course it comes with the 55 watt hour battery. This is a laptop that will automatically appeal to tinkerers. That's probably why you're watching this video. You are a tinkerer or possibly tinkerer curious watching this video and wondering, hey, what about it? This would be a great recommendation for you or for folks in your circle looking for a laptop. Obviously, they're not gonna spend you know, a lot of money on marketing, Framework is not. And this is probably not a laptop that you're gonna find at Walmart or Best Buy or somewhere like that, you know, your friend, friendly chain store. But for everything this laptop promises, I don't think those companies would want to carry it because everything that you buy from those stores, they want it to be disposable and throwaway. They want to keep you coming back. They want you to buy a new phone or laptop every year, every couple of years. I mean, do you buy lifetime tools at Walmart? No. I mean, one chain that was selling higher-end tools, Sears, they got private equitied. And uh, this right here is the modular, replaceable, waste-minimizing approach that I'd love to see across all our technology spectrum. I mean, I myself, I use a 30-year-old keyboard. Why? Because it's awesome. It's a lifetime keyboard. That's not to say that it's exactly the same keyboard that it was when I started using it. I've replaced bits of it. It's a bit like the ship of Theseus at this point. And this laptop can be too, because you can replace different parts of it at different times. Probably you wouldn't need to replace the screen for three or four generations. It's a gorgeous screen. You should check out this laptop. I think you'll be glad that you did. I'm Wendell, this is level one. I'm signing out. Big shout out to Framework. Again, this is a retail laptop. They didn't send me this. It's paid for with actual money, actual real dollars. I believe in what they're doing. I think they're doing a service for all of us and we should support it as consumers because uh, the other alternative is not great. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1. I'm signing out and you can find me in the Level 1 forums.